Kwesimintin constituency in the western region was created in 2012 from the then Efia Kwesimintin constituency. The former Minister of Aviation, Joe Bedouansan, who was the first MP for Kwesimintin, lost the seat to the current MP, Joe Mensah, at the party's primaries in 2016. Unfortunately, Joe Mensah also lost his candidature at the party's 20th June primaries to represent the MPP come December to Dr. Prince Ahmed Amma, who would be facing NDC's Fifi Buckman. Kwesimin team constituents who support the NDC's Fifi Buckman said they would vote for him for his humility and unifying character. If I'm a support to you, yeah, lawyer Fifi, and I'm a support to you. Now you'll be a one of brass here. Oh, you wouldn't need me doing so. Oh, you're not quite different. It's your honor, I'm a support to you. Lawyer Fifi, I'm a member of Lawyer, <laughs> Bibia e hiam bo bia abotun sa from bia no oba nti ye gidi de so oba obotum wa yam work as ama youth no oy fifi backman na me kan asem for supporters of the mpp's dr prince ahmed ama his youthfulness and educational background will be the reason they would vote for him dr ama so on be busy na so also as the oy ya vote no at the time na bebre ma for Dr. Prince Amma, he has been helping. Uh, I'm from the palace, and when it's time for festivals, uh, his support, pretty pretty support, and other staffs. And I, aside that, too, I will vote for Dr. Prince Amma because uh, he's young, he's educated, he's, he's a youth, so he knows what we, the youth, we want. And I think somebody who knows the in and now ups and down about education, it will help us. When we vote for him, it will help us. Because uh, it seems to me uh, when we talk about doctors and other things, uh, we, we are lacking. Doctor, I met woman. Because, you see, you know, you can change the car. You can't get a big one. And you may be over there, or for don't know ye. See, up a bay. You want to marry him, no bay. See, Nanny Erish, no quando bay, I mean. Dr. Tama is uh, what do you call it? He's a vibrant and energetic young man who is ever ready to help and listen to the people of the Constituency. And he's not only here to, uh, he's not only here to uh, help, uh, what do you call it, the Muslim brothers alone. He's rather here to unite everybody, all the, uh, doesn't matter the political. But uh, like everybody, but that, that, that is the reason why we tend to uh, throw our support. To the them. MPP's Dr. Prince Ahmed Amma believes his exposure to national policy issues with the NACA and being born in Kwesimintin would help him improve the MPP's previous win of 64% to 70% of the votes. I have a route, I have establishment. There, there, if you go to a community where I was born, our yes, the community that I was born, they can usually easily relate and identify me. So that's a plus. In addition to that, because I grew, I grew up with many of my, my friends here, um, and, and because of the, the struggle that we have had together, me coming back, it's kind of excitement to them, you know. The other point is that uh, in terms of what we can show, I have demonstrable record, of national profile, not just um, managing a small, 
institution somewhere in proximity. But beyond my myself, my my businesses that I run, I have also handled national projects like leading the most uh, one of the significant flagship programs of the government. That is the the curriculum reforms, and that gives me you know the kind of national profile. And then also. Uh, in terms of the field that I operate, in terms of the field that we are operating within the education sector, um, I think that I, I, I have that recognition you know, among my peers. We are looking at um, not less than 70% of the total votes. The last election we had 64% and I'm looking at not less than 70% of the total votes. The NDC's Fifi Bokman, however, says his commitment to the plight of the people and lobbying skills would be his winning card to represent the people of Kwasi I believe that lobbying is my skill. You know I'm a lawyer by God's grace and lobbying is one of the key things that you should be able to have to lobby forcefully to get things for your people because we have 275 constituencies and we are all, you know, yearning to get things for our problems. When the people on the 7th of December vote for change all those who come to power in parliament will sit up it is because they have tagged this place as or oh, whether excuse my language you bring a goat or whatever sheep you clad it in a, a certain particular articles they are going to win now they, they win and nothing is done because he believes that it's a done deal but this time around the people are saying that no we are going to bring that in. You see, it is because I believe that looking at the metropolis, the reason why we are lacking, the reason why we are lagging behind is because we have not had leaders who, you know, are ready to stand for their people, even to the extent of losing their, their, their positions. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, by God's grace. If even I'm a minister or whatever, I clamor I fight for things for my people and I'm not getting it. You can't, you can you, 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 you would be surprised that we can say, if you are not doing it for my people, then please take your position because I came to represent the people. You understand? Those other places that are developing, it is because they have leaders who can talk. They have leaders who are visionary. They have leaders who are not thinking about self-aggrandizement, thinking about the next uh, 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 the, the next elections or whatever, that you wait till election time and you get something, some peanuts you come and give to the boys. No. The battle for the MPP to cement its dominance with a third consecutive win in the Kwesimin team and for the NDC to prove that the Kwesimin team seat is not a stronghold for the MPP will be settled come December 7th.